half mile semester here, and today we're going to uh, we're going to run some 357 Magnum through a, a four inch and a six inch. And this is some of the old 110 grain uh, duty Magnums that we had. The stuff that's known for killing K frames. So sit back, kick your feet up, enjoy the ride. It ought to be interesting. So today, we're going to be checking some old Federal 357 Magnum 110 grain hollow points. Checking them for velocity out of a pair of Smith & Wesson Model 28s. One from 1959 and one from 1980, I think. It's a New York State Trooper. And uh, the 110 grain magnums were known for killing K-frames. So let's just see what kind of velocities we get out of the uh, two barrel lengths on this. So stand by while I get set up and we will we will start shooting here in a minute. Okay, so first up we're going to be putting the uh, magnum rounds from the 4 inch over the chronograph. And we get a low of 12.72, a high of 13.66, and an average of 13.39 out of the 4-inch barrel. Let's reset and try that out of the 6-inch. Okay, so this will be same ammo out of the 6 inch model 28. And those extra two inches here, I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere, give us a 1396 for a low, a 1476 for a high, and an average of 1444. Holds true. It's usually about 50 feet per second uh, per inch. Got two more inches of barrel, got 100, 100 feet of velocity. Very nice. Might as well see about how shooting uh, steel works with this. Okay. So, we're going to shoot six, six rounds real quick from the 4-inch Model 28. See how this Magnum uh, bounces the steel here? We're at about the 20-yard point. I think we might just redo that with the six inch for giggles. Stand by. Okay. So now I've 
reload it. I've got the six inch. Change the right here. See how the six inch gets on that. Uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, one last uh, closing thought. I think I turned the camera off instead of on when I went to shoot the steel, so I don't have any close ups of the steel with the 357 Magnum. Apologies. Try to do better next time. So there we have it. We shot the 6 inch Model 28 from 1959 and the 4 inch Model 28 from about 1980. Put them over the chronograph, we saw a hundred foot velocity difference, which, like I said, held up to my uh, average of 50 feet per inch. Um, and these, again, were the 110 grain hollow point 357 Magnums that were the ones that were notorious for killing K, K frames. They would split the forcing cone right down there at about the six o'clock mark from the uh, flame erosion because these are some hot little duty rounds. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit like, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, and this will be Half Mile Sniper checking out and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all have a great day. Send it. Good.